fascinated by the goatfish's extraordinary ability to change colour radically, seemingly to communicate with the cleaner wrasse. We wonder if such a fish would be fluorescent. He spends a large part of the day foraging in sandy rubble. And this is where we're searching in the heart of the night. Before long, we find our goatfish. The top of his body, fins and tail are fluorescing a light yellow-green. Comparing with daylight colours, it seems the fluorescence boosts his yellow markings. Like the lizardfish, his eye also sports a bright fluorescent rim. The lizardfish spends most of its time on the bottom, as does the goatfish, both having eyes mainly turned upwards. Might this fluorescent rim protect against harmful ultraviolet light? Spending time observing, we make an astonishing discovery. The goatfish transforms his fluorescent pattern in front of our eyes. The three dark saddles disappear, his back becoming intensely green. We realise this goatfish has as much control over his fluorescence as he has over his daytime colours implying his fluorescence could be used for communication. Some of the fish out there and some of the crustaceans are also fluorescent. It seems possible that they're using this to, again, communicate with each other. They're using fluorescence as part of their colour communication channel.